Hey everyone, welcome to another Comfy UI AI tutorial. In today's video, I'll walk you through how to create this amazing custom sticker from your uploaded face image using SDXL and Pulid with a final touch from Instant ID to enhance facial accuracy in the final output. I'll first show you and demonstrate the results of this workflow with the example photos of Simon Liu, Steve Jobs, and Emma Watson. We first go to the input image on the workflow and upload the face image that we want to generate. For example here, I'm going to upload the image of Simon Liu. You can see that in the beginning of the workflow, we start with the prompt creation using SDXL prompt styler and we're writing the custom prompt to describe what the sticker will look like. The SDXL prompt styler is just an addition to the custom prompt that will enhance the custom prompt from the styles that you choose from the dropdowns. After that, we're going to be using Pulid for face swapping at a lower resolution, followed by upscaling and final touch-ups to refine the image with Instant ID. I'll go through the workflow in detail later in this video. For example here, I'm going to be writing a prompt, warrior holding a lightsaber, and we generated an impressive sticker of Simon Liu holding a lightsaber. I'll also showcase results using random images of Steve Jobs and Emma Watson, and these are the results. Here's a sticker result of Steve Jobs holding some lightsabers, and here's a similar sticker result of Emma Watson, and the results are pretty good. The workflow produces great results regardless of uh, either race or gender. You can use this method to create stickers of your own face or make one of your friends, family, or anyone else that you like. I'll put this workflow in the GitHub link in the description of this video so you can download it and check it out. Before I guide you through the details of the workflow, let's see what we need to set up for the workflow in order for you to run this smoothly without errors. First, you need to download this checkpoint called Dream Shaper XL. It's a pretty lean and very good quality SDXL uh, that is a general purpose model that does uh, very good images of photos, art, anime, and manga. I use it quite often for any SDXL workflow. The LoRa that we're using here is called Sticker Redmin and you can get that LoRa from the Civit AI page. The two other LoRa's that we also need to download is Cartoon Style LoRa and the Smile LoRa file to make sure the result image is a little bit more cartoonish and less realistic and make sure they have a happy smiling expression. You're going to need to put the Dream Shaper Excel checkpoint in the checkpoint folder and under the models and you're going to need to put the other LoRa files under the LoRa folders. Once you download these checkpoints and LoRa's, let's try to set up Pulid. Make sure first that in your manager, your Comfy UI is updated to the latest. Once it's updated, restart your Comfy UI again and go to Manager Custom Notes Manager and type in Pulid Comfy UI. And you can just click this installed button if you don't have this custom node already installed. If you don't have this custom node installed, you'll probably also be able to find this under the install missing custom node once you load the workflow. Make sure that you download the Pulid Comfy UI instead of Pulid Flux because Pulid Comfy UI is used for the SDXL workflow. Once you have that, we need to download a couple of models for the Pulid workflow. For example, you run into issues like Insight Face module not found because Pulit relies on Insight Face module to run correctly. The full installation step is in the Pulit Comfy UI repository, which I'll link in the description. First step is to download the Pulit model for SDXL, which is the link right here. Once you download it, you want to drop it in the Comfy UI models Pulit folder, which I also have it right here. You don't need to worry about the Eva clip because they'll be installed automatically when you run it for the first time. The face xlib is also downloaded automatically on the first run of the workflow. The final step is to download inside face. You want to go to the hugging face link and download the antelope v2. You're going to get the zipped folder of the file. So you want to unzip the folder and put the model in comfy UI models inside face models antelope v2 folder. The other important models that we need to install is Instant ID. The custom node is called Comfy UI Instant ID Native Support, and there are a couple of models to download in the GitHub repository. You can use the custom manager to download the Comfy UI Instant ID uh, Native Support, or go to the custom nodes and git clone the repository URL. Instant ID also requires Insight Face, but we already installed that for Pulit, so this step is good here. And we also have the Antelope V2. 
uh, but we have to download the main model from the hugging face and it should be placed in the comfy UI models instant ID directory like this. Instant ID also uses ControlNet unlike Pulet. Pulet doesn't need ControlNet to run, but Instant ID does, so you need to install the model and place it in the ComfyUI ControlNet directory. Once you have everything set up here, you should be able to run the workflow smoothly. The first part of the workflow is the input image right here, and this is the face image you want to turn into a custom sticker. And the next section here is loading the necessary models. Here we're using DreamShaper XL as our base model, which we downloaded earlier from Civit AI. And we're also enhancing the output with LoRa's, and we're using the Easy LoRa stack to load multiple LoRa's simultaneously and control the strength of each LoRa including uh, Sticker Redmin, Cartoon Style, and the Smile Loras. We then pass the model from the Easy Stack Laura to the Model, Clip, and V to the Anything Anywhere node. The Anything Anywhere node helps you connect these inputs automatically to the other nodes. For example, you can see that there's nothing connected to this model input in this node. And if you don't have anything connected here, the Anything Anywhere node will automatically put the DreamShaper XL model. And the same thing applies to the Vey and the Clip model as well. It essentially just keeps the workflow visually clean and organized and it prevents unnecessary clutter of lines going everywhere. And the next section here is the prompt concatenation and we're using the SDXL prompt styler with the digital art style selected from the menu. And the styler prompt basically adds an additional text to enhance your custom prompt. With the chosen art style which we have selected uh, the digital art style and finally we just add these two prompts together uh, the custom prompt and the styler prompt to generate the final output here you can also preview the final text on this node right here once we have the final prompt generated then we're going to be using it and feeding it into the positive and negative inputs of the apply pullet node the negative prompt also comes from the XDXL style prompter because we're using the SDXL rather than Flux, so we need a negative prompt. Additionally, we need to ensure that the Pulet model is correctly set as the input here rather than the DreamShaper XL model from the Anything Anywhere node. If you don't have anything connected, then it's going to be using the DreamShaper XL model automatically. And this step produces a lower resolution of 7068 by 768 image, which helps maintain a consistent facial structure. Once we have the base image generated from Pulid, we upscale it to the latent scale by 1024 by 1024 and feed it into the instant ID. And using the instant ID model and control net, we refine the image further. The reason why we're using Instant ID and not Pulet for the final face swap is because Instant ID is known for having the best result in terms of face swapping. This is just my opinion, but I think Instant ID just does a better job in terms of face swapping than other models to uh, remain an accurate uh, facial details of the image. Finally, I'm generating the two different results here, one with the background removed for a clean sticker-like effect, and another with the original background intact. Now I'm gonna just test this workflow with a few different images and prompts to show you a variety of results you can achieve. Here I'm creating a basketball player sticker with a girl's image, and I'm also gonna generate a soccer player as well. And here's a sticker of an Asian girl playing baseball. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful to generate your own sticker of your uploaded image. In the next video, I'll also bring another useful AI content. If you ran into any issues installing Pulid and Instant ID or running the workflow in general, please join my Discord channel and ask the question there, or you can also comment down in the video below and I'll try to answer the question as best as possible. Thanks for watching.